Hello and welcome to the session about the Workbench Editor. In this session I would like to show you this new tool, where to get it and how to work with it. So first of all, we take a look here at the SAP Business One version for SAP HANA 9.1. And here you can see the Fiori style cockpit and we have added the Sales Process Workbench widget and also some other widgets like KPIs and uh, pervasive dashboards. So what we want to do in the session is that we want to change this kind of widget, the workbench widget for the sales process and enhance it also furthermore. So for this we need to download a tool called the workbench editor and this tool can be found in the node. The node number is 2097429 and in this node you can download at the end the workbench editor how-to guide and the workbench editor itself. Okay, when downloaded you can click here on the screw wheel and enter the login details, the credentials so in this case, I just need to enter the password for the Business One User Manager. So, okay, so we successfully connected now to the server. And now we can use the folder open icon to open a workbench. So in this demonstration, we will focus only on the sales process workbench. And I would recommend you to just based on your screen resolution a little bit the, the window and you can see this is now pretty much the same workbench as we have it in the business one client and let's now modify it so we will remove for example the sales quotation as the customer doesn't need this on the uh, sales workbench we also will delete the down payment and uh, we can also remove arrows like this just press the delete key then we can also add new icons from the left side if they were not in already or we can create new ones like I will do now right click here on this node and say create entity node we have now this customized type here and we will give it a name and I will call it AR invoice and payment and now I need to find the form UID so I will go to business one I need to activate the view system information and then uh, I will go to the modules and then to sales and then AI invoice and payment and now you can see in the lower left corner the number 2054 so just take a look here 2054 so I will enter this now here 2054 that's mainly it so I will now just move this here on top of the AI invoice you can now look at the AI invoice coordinates it has like and uh, x-axis uh, 406 so here we, we can increase it by 6 to have it on the same uh, let's say width and now about the height um, just look here at the y-axis we have 10 here we have 34 so we will adjust this also to 10 so now this is pretty much on the same level as stunning wizard and um, what can we do else for example the AI invoice let's take first a look in the business one it has a drop down menu so we can open item list and so on however if we take a look for example to sales order there's something like my sales order number and if we click on it we get a list of the open sales orders 
And this is based actually on a count widget as, as this. So this is a count widget for AP OpenAI invoices. And we would like to have this kind of information also here. So how do we get this? So if we go here to the query generator and search for OBOI and press the tab key and execute, we can now see the internal numbers and the AR invoice um, count widget has the internal number two. Okay, so if we go now to the workbench editor, we can go here to the to the AR invoice and go to the BO list. And there is none defined. So we can say now add and add now a business object count with the value minus two. And the description will anyhow be overwritten, but we can say my open a r invoices. Say OK. And in the last thing I will change is the customer. The customer, you can find it also on the left side for modification. We want to add for the customer also like on the other workbench items, you want to add a drop down. There's no drop down here and we want to have a drop down like this. Yeah. So what we want to have are three drop downs. Um, if we look at business partner, we want to have the activity, which is 2563. You can see it in the lower left corner. So we will start with this. So I click on customer, sorry, on the left side, go then to menu this time, click on the browse button and add now activity. And I think it was 2563. Let me just take a look again. This is partner activity 2563. Okay. Next, I want to have a campaign is 2707. Campaign 2707. And uh, for the last thing, I would like to have a service call, which is 3587. Service call, then 3587. Okay. So before I will click here this save button and say overwrite my existing workbench, I can recommend you two things. Um, going to HANA Studio, to the catalog, and then to the table OWWT, which is the table of the uh, workbench. So we can uh, have a quick look in it, say open content. So you can see here all four different workbench widgets. And I would recommend you to do a backup before changing it. You can do this by a right click and say export. And then say next. Choose a directory on your computer. So maybe on the desktop we create a new folder called workbench. Backup. Okay, and it's important to choose binary here. Binary is more reliable and say finish. And now we have done a backup. You could also do a full schema backup, but um, I think for just, just this case, it's sufficient that you just back up this database table. And now we can overwrite it by clicking on the save button in the workbench editor. And if we now go to business one and click here on refresh, the new modified workbench will be shown. So we can see now that we have deleted uh, the down payment and so on, but we have now here AI invoice and payment. And if I click on it, it will open, so 
can directly do the uh, one-time customer direct cash in sales. So maybe this is uh, important for this company. And then what we have done also is adding to the AI invoice, the open AI invoice count widget. Also click on it. Okay. And the last thing I added is the customer. I added a drop down. So here we have now activity campaign and service call. All right. And if you somehow did something wrong or you want to get back to the standard SAP template, we have done a backup and we just right click the OWWT table. If you don't see it, by the way, in this list, because you only can see the top thousand items, go to Windows preferences, type in catalog and click here on fetch all database catalog objects. Otherwise, you will not see the O WWT table as this is um, after 1000. So then we do a right click and say import and choose the destination on our um, computer. So we have here the workbench backup. Say next. Okay, next. And now this is important, we need to replace the existing catalog in our HANA database, say finish. And if I go now back to business one and I say refresh, then we have back the old workbench. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, with this, I would like to say thank you for watching the session and bye bye.